Thank you for joining me here on Cron 4 News at 3 o'clock. I'm Justine Waldman. Heartbreak right now in San Francisco as the chief medical examiner confirmed today the body of Wild 94.9 radio host JV was found on Wednesday in the water near Pier 30, 39. He's been missing, missing now for about a month. And longtime listeners, co-workers, and many more are expressing their grief now that his death has been confirmed. Crowd Force Stephanie Lynn, live for us now from the newsroom with more about we know about his passing and also how he's being remembered this afternoon. Thanks for joining us, Stephanie. Yeah, thank you, Justine. Well, Jeffrey Vandergrift, or JV, was widely considered an icon in Bay Area radio. He endeared himself to listeners for decades on 94.9's The JV Show. We know he was last seen leaving his home on King Street on February 23rd, one month ago today. On March 1st, JV's wife, Natasha Yee, released a statement saying she had information suggesting JV would not be coming back. Then around 5 o'clock last night, police reported the discovery of his body near Pier 39. They say there was no evidence of foul play. A memorial continues to grow outside the 94.9 station on Townsend Street in San Francisco. People are leaving flowers and signs thanking JV for being a part of their lives. Also listing some of his catchphrases like, don't call me Jeff. Radio hosts Graham and Selena kept the JV show on the air during JV's disappearance. Appearance, and we have sound to play for you from today's episode once they learned JV's death was confirmed. Well, it's just like we hoped we weren't going to get this news. We hoped and hoped and hoped. Yeah, I thought the other days when JV first went missing and we had to, we, you know, we came in, those were the hardest shows I've ever had to do. But, I mean, not even that prepared me for having to deliver the news that his body was found. I thought I'd be better prepared for this, or, I mean, at least, like, um, emotionally. Just not. My heart feels like it's breaking all over again. And I can't, I cannot stop thinking about Natasha and the heart and, her, and his family and the heartbreak that they're going through all over again because if my heart feels like this right now I know I can't imagine what theirs does uh, just a heartbreaking moment shared there JV hosted his radio show the same day he vanished in that episode he spoke openly with his listeners about his fight with Lyme disease he described his symptoms of brain fog anxiety and depression JV was diagnosed with the disease in 2021 